Acts 17 starts with Paul arriving in Thessalonica from the city of Choez. In typical Apostle Paul fashion, he goes to the synagogue and the Bible says that for three Sabbath days, he reasoned with them from the scriptures that the Messiah had to die and rise again from the dead and that this Messiah was Yeshua or Jesus, which he was preaching to them. A few Jews became believers, but of the devout Greeks and the chief women of the city, many of them came to faith. However, some of the disobedient Jews became jealous and in conspiracy with some of the wicked men who hang around the markets, caused an uproar in the city against Paul. It's from this uproar that the brethren sent Paul and Silas away in the cover of night to Berea, and as soon as they arrive, they enter a synagogue of the Jews of that region, which brings us to verse 11. Verse 11 states that these Jews were more noble than those in Thessalonica in two ways. Number one, they received the word with all readiness of mind. These Jews were open to hearing the message that Paul had to share with them. They were mentally ready to receive the gospel of Yeshua. Number two, they examined the scriptures daily to see whether these things were so. So although they were willing to receive the word with all readiness of mind, they, however, did their due diligence in examining the scriptures to validate the things that they heard from Paul. In verse 12, it says that once they had done this, many of the Jews and quite a few of the honorable Greek women and men came to faith. So not a few, but many. So the lesson and application for us is that we should do these two things also. Number one, we should be eager and ready to receive the word being preached to us. But... Number two, and this is the important thing, is that we don't just accept what we hear, but we do as the Berean Jews did and check what we've heard against the Bible. We have to make sure that what we've heard is in accordance with the scriptures, that it aligns with God's word. If it doesn't line up, then we can discard it as false. The Bible is God's written, infallible, sufficient word. And all of it is profitable for teaching, reproof, correction, and instruction in righteousness, that we may be fully equipped for the good work that God would have us to do. 2 Timothy 3, 16-17 It's so important that we study the scriptures and become familiar with it so that we can discern what we are hearing is biblical or not. We need to be in the habit of examining scripture to confirm or discard any message we hear. The Bereans did this with Paul, even though Paul was known to have studied at the feet of Gamaliel and himself was already a renowned instructor of the word in the synagogues. So, of the 27 books which makes up the New Testament, the Apostle Paul ended up being the author of half of them.